my cosmic healing tribe welcome to the maybon message for everybody um so listen today we have maybon um it is one of the holy holidays of the wheel turning it is officially the start of the fall equinox and also the start of libra season so here we are at this last harvest before we go into the winter months and today is a day in the next few days actually are a few days of gratitude maybon is until the 24th um, in some places, they celebrate the 29th. And overall, you will notice that across the world, it is a time of honoring endings as we come into the line of new beginnings. And new beginnings happen in dark places. I often um, see seeds starting um, under the greatest of pressures. And this Libra season and this fall equinox is really going to be about the balance of you shining in relation to creating new energies, new balances, and some places endings as you come into this blossoming of yourself. And so again, happy birthday Libras. Let's shout out and get into it. So in this video, I'm kind of going to do a general Mayball message for all of you about what the astrology of the chart for today is saying and how this is going to be influencing us until the next turn of the wheel um, in winter and also how the energy in around and in us is going to be able to help us through friction untap some great beautiful projects and designs and realizations about who and what you can be endlessly and then we'll just see what the cards have to say so we now have the sun in libra sun in libra is going to bring us into the we the partnership it is about how you are relating to other people be it formal or informal relationships it's the lines of energy engagement which is really going to be highlighted um, as this libra season is not coming with an easy roundabout right we are now stepping into this place as we're going again in this flux because we still have um, Pluto and Saturn retrograde. We have Lilith retrograde. We have Chiron retrograded. We have we still have Mars is retrograde. Um, Mercury is going to be going retrograde. So there's a lot of this internal reviewing and practicing, practicing it out with other people. And the chart that we've had today really does highlight this because under this equinox energy, we had Mercury making a trine to the North Node, which is in Gemini. Again, other people, um, where we're connecting with people in our tribe, how our tribe is being cultivated and changing as we are changing. And throughout the rest of the chart, there are these beautiful trines. There's a beautiful trine to Chiron of getting into yourself. Chiron is now in Aries, getting into yourself, into the pains, in the things about yourself that you haven't embraced and loved and integrating and saying, okay, I'm going to turn my poisons into my medicine. And then we also have had the semi-square of Pluto retrograde and center retrograde. So allowing again a saying, okay, now that I've made a relationship, I've made a commitment to how I'm going to be structuring my time for myself under this new moon and Virgo energy. Um, and now I am now coming into the point because we do have the first quarter square tomorrow of, okay, so now people are going to get noticed about this and the shift of how I use my time, how I engage my time, how I divide my time, how access to me is um, allowed or permitted within larger groups or in those smaller circles, right? All contracts are up for review when we come into the world of Libra um, and because of all the other astrology that we have going on, quite frankly, right? Because again, even with that Mars retrograde energy, what you're going to be doing, how you're going to be doing it, how you're not responding to certain people, places, or things in the ways that they're expected you to or that you have in the past, all of these things lead to partnership and vibrational needs of imbalancing or imbalance that they'll require balance or release. And that's very much the energy of Mipan, right? It is that balance point, that line of, I am grateful for what I have. I am solid for what I have. I have worked for, I appreciate what I have. And I planted some scenes that didn't come, right? And this reassessment of what you are going to be releasing, what is going to carry you over the winter winter months. I mean, it's not an accident we, uh, that it's, this is also called cuffing season, right? Because this is where you're going, you are making, we are all as individuals in the collective making decisions about what we're going to take into the cold place with us. You know, Parsippany is um, being quite frankly kidnapped um, into the underworld right now. Um, and as a side note, very interesting considering the fact that Lilith is retrograde in Aries in this rise of the divine feminine and the warrior feminine, uh, particularly the warrior feminine that's coming through now. Of, uh, no, I'm going to defend what I need, what I want, how I'm going to nurture myself. 
So everybody's coming to heads, right? Um, and just to top it off, while we still have Mars retrograde during this coming Libra season, Mercury is also going to be going re retrograde. So review, 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 review everything about yourself, about who you are and the rhythm of your life and what you need and what will or will not be allowed. Like there's, a, there's an energy of personal dominance and sovereignty over this season that's coming up over this fall there is this assertion of yourself of your energy of your vibration of your goals of your healing um and as i always say to you guys if you don't use your shadow your shadow will use you or somebody else who knows how to use shadows will use the both of you so really allowing yourself and standing and being like no i'm going to claim my balance i'm going to claim my energy i'm going to nurture myself i'm going to preserve my energies i'm going to be very judicious with how i move and what i do and how i speak that's the higher evolution 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 we'll see what they have to say about that with the mars retrograde energy that we have until the end of the year okay right so we still have some very major things going on in the background yes saturn and pluto are going to be moving direct soon but they're still a very move slow moving planet so really again to the end of the year they're going to have the effect of like them turning on right and they're still also going to be in motion as we then are going to have sat like listen guys listen come in to yourself come into this eternal balance find a way to, to mm, cultivate a way to allow yourself to get into the line of who you are as that process of cosmic both birthing and also dying you know and people who are know me well know i say i try to die at least three times a day right to allow and on every moment this friction to bring in an awareness of a new perspective, of a new rhythm, of a new possibility, because whatever is happening, you are the most divine wand. You are the cosmic spell. You are the first thing that is tuning into this balance. And um, Ma'a is very much out here, okay? Ma, like Lady Justice has taken off her veil, although I would argue that she never really had it on. And so where there is this kind of balancing and awareness, consequences and reward that is happening right now. So either way, nobody gets a total A, right? And nobody has ever completely failed unless you've been on some other ish. And that's another video and another conversation, right? But in this present point of balance, you're in process. So continue to allow yourself to be in this process of the process of the process of the process of you. And so the cards that we get, we get the Ace of Cups. Hello, allowing yourself to feed yourself with new ideas, new emotions, new expressions, getting into your own head, even letting, listen, tears in water are beautiful and powerful energies. Let them wash, let them flow, let the dance break and come into a new balance, Two of Cups, it's so beautiful, with yourself right i love the two of cups first as you guys know i always apply to room to self first and so when we have this two of cups energy here it's saying i'm going to come into balance with my masculine my feminine my light and my dark my lines in between i will be balanced i will seek my balance i will commit to my balance i will commit to working out the things that are difficult because i'm finding a new balance i allow myself and step into flow and then we literally have the emperor card come out because this is about domination this is about and not in well, you know, it's about domination of self. It's about domination and saying, listen, as a sovereign being, as a person here and present and alive and willing, I am engaging in my soul contract. I'm going to be accountable for what's in my in my kingdom, in queendom, in daydom, for good or for bad, right? You have to, there's an awareness, that's, there's an energetic awareness of accountability that is required to allow yourself mm, to manifest, to mutate and transmute energy into a higher level, right? You, not everything is sweet, but baby, that doesn't mean bitter is bad. And then there's also, we're coming up with the two of wands. Hello? There is a risk. There is a touch of the bandito that you have to allow for yourself when you're making these changes. Of, I've got some things done. I got one wand. I'm developing another wand. I'm in flux. I'm in motion. We're coming through Sante Morte at the bottom of the deck for the world. And this brings the even more beautiful part and one of my favorite parts about the Mulan is that it is for every person that comes into a balance that allows themselves to be accountable for their energetic output that commits to using their body as a metaphysical experience of growth, of healing, of release, of a little bit of alchemy with a touch of naughty. It changes the total vibration, not just for you in your own life, not just for you and the people around you, but for the collective. And this is the cosmic healing tribe. We are a tribe. So let's sit in this balance of gratitude 
as yes, we do prepare for our hard times, but that's what tribe is for. I love all of you so much, and I will see you tomorrow.